Today, Pokemon Go players and YouTubers, I wanted to share this information with you guys real quick before I get into the video. Uh, make sure that you guys are subscribing and making sure that your subscriptions are not kept private. If they are kept private, there is no way for me to view that information. Real simple way to do that is just go to the right, top right hand corner real quick here. Click on the gears right here, the YouTube settings. You'll then come back to the account settings. All you have to do then is go to privacy. You'll unclick the top three boxes right here. And then after you unclick them, you'll click save. And that will make it so that I'll be able to visually see that you have subscribed to my channel. If I cannot visually see that you have subscribed to my channel, there is no way for you to be entered into one of my account giveaways because I only select from the people that I can visually see, amongst other things. People that share my account, people that do um, the hashtags, people that actually watch my videos in their entirety, um, people that like my videos, things like that. The second thing I wanted to actually bring up, or actually before I go on to that, I actually wanted to show you guys real quick what I mean by this. So I will go to my subscribers real quick. And I will show you guys. I've had five or six subscribers since in the last couple of days. But the last one I can visually see right here is three days ago. And if you're not on this list here, there's no way for you to actually be able to enter into my giveaways. Because I select first and foremost from this list. And if you're not on here, then there's no way for me to do it. The last thing I wanted to mention before we get into go any further is, uh, from on this is flameaccounts.com. Uh, Flame Accounts has great collector gold, silver, bronze accounts. Uh, they also have Boost My Accounts. On um, the Boost My Accounts, you've got 100,000 Stardust, Shiny Gyarados, Shiny Magikarp. Um, you've got um, Regional Package. Now, the Regional Package, the Gen 1 Packages, the Gen 2 Packages, there's no guarantee that you're going to have any 100,000 or 100 IV um, Pokemon being caught for you. The other thing is, you don't know what the CP is going to be. The CP could be 10, the CP could be 100, the CP could be 3,000. So there's no guarantee. All they're going to do is they're going to catch you one of each of the regional package Pokemon and then give your account back to you. That's it. Um, last, last but not least, before we get it, go any further than this, I want to mention their giveaways. And before I mention their giveaways, I want to mention um, if you do purchase a Flame account or into their packages, if you use... The Jinx, that's T-H-E-E-J-Y-N-X, at the end of the actual, um, where you enter your coupon in, you'll receive 15% off your entire package, your entire purchase. So make sure you do that. Now, last but not least, uh, make sure you share them on Facebook, tweet them on Twitter, follow uh, Flame Accounts on Twitter, and join Flame Accounts Club. By doing so, you'll be entered into their collector account giveaway every single um, week. Uh, without any further ado, let's get into Hey Pokemon Go players and YouTubers, I'm here right now in No Name and the rest stop here um, is where I'm at um, just before um, Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Um, looks like I've got a Hondor here on my um, Pokemon Go, um, my nearby. Don't have this um, rated up yet, but I will let you guys know some exciting news is happening this Saturday. Besides just Pokemon Go Fest and people being able to participate in that from all around the world. But here's the thing. Legendary Pokemon are actually going to be released into the gym battling system. So in the gym raid system. Um, it looks as if um, Pokemon Go released um, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Lugia, Lugia and Ho-Oh are the four, um, five that have been released. Now... If I'm correct, Lugio, Lugia, and Ho-Oh are like Mew and Mewtwo of Gen 2. Instead of like Entei, um, Raikou, and um, Sasin. I would have preferred to see the three legendary dogs and the three legendary birds released, but they might be saving that to release with Mew and Mewtwo and Celebi. Now, I did call this beginning of the year that the legendary Pokemon would be coming during the summer event. And guess what? Here it is. Um, I do not have a Jolteon, a Vorporeon, and a Flareon on this account yet. So I've been trying to catch Eevee so I can get enough candy so I can upgrade them. Um, so, 
if you are unable to make it to Pokemon Go Fest, which I am not able to go, I've got a lot of people ask me that, I'm not going to Pokemon Go Fest. Um, I wish I could, but I can't. Um, but if you're, like I said, if you're not able to go, if you're not able to participate in the Pokemon Go event, Pokemon Go Fest, there is still a chance for you to get legendary Pokemon. All you have to do is be in an area where there's gyms and raids are going on. Um, I'm lucky enough that in my hometown there's a university and I can go to that university campus and there's three gyms right there on the campus with about 18 Pokestops. So I will probably this Saturday be going to that university at 10 a.m. making a video and hopefully getting some legendary Pokemon while I'm there. I'm hoping that there's quite a few other players that are still there or that are going to be there and we'll be able to knock down some gyms and be able to take care of this all together. Um, it looks like their, C their um, CP is actually going to be rather high. Um, in the video that they show, it um, looks like it's actually 36,000 CP. So that's pretty dang high. I'm wondering where this, this hound, doom, hound door is. I do need to get over to this pokey stop. And get my first stop of the day. But I mean, that, that's, just, it's, that's just it. I'm glad that, that Niantic is seeing that not everybody can go, the tickets sold out and stuff like that. And they're, they're still allowing people to, to participate in the event even though they're not at the physical event. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the benefit of going to the event, I think, for the most part, is actually gonna be simply um, the fact that you're gonna be able to actually get more Pokemon in that park. Niantic will probably drop more Pokemon in that park itself and rare Pokemon and things like that. And so that's the benefit of going to the event itself. Other than that, I really can't see any benefit because Legendary is gonna be released all around the world that day. And so that's pretty awesome. Um, I'll probably end up be buying a, a raid pack. Um, kinda wanted to show you guys, I did get some new Pokemon today. Um, I got my 5K eggs did hatch. Um, I got a Totodile, a Shelder, um, I got a Slugma from one, so that's pretty cool. Um, I caught a Drowsy today, a Sparrow, um, this Eevee, that's interesting because the Eevee I saw was level 12, CP 12. Let's go ahead and, I already have a tomato, don't, yeah, I've already got a tomato. Let's evolve this one, let's change its name. I'm going to change it to Hydro. I'm going to evolve this one real quick. Oops, I've got an extra R in there. Hydro. Hopefully I can get a few, one more EV and I can evolve that. make my way actually I do have Pokemon oh I actually I threw that one away that's why um let's go down here and find let's let's get rid of that one since it's such a low CP now I need one more candy do I have any more low CP nope Alright, make my way up to this Pokestop real quick. Um, another thing is I've been trying to get in contact with Flame Accounts. I've been contacting them for about two weeks now. Um, trying to get more um, accounts so I can actually give them away. People have been asking, are you sponsored by Flame Accounts? Kind of, I'm kind of sponsored, but kind of not. Um, they do give me Pokemon Go accounts on occasion for free um, that I give away to you guys. Um, at the same time, um, they really take their time getting back to me on um, getting me Pokemon Go accounts. That's why I kind of give one a week. 
Oh, there's still an ash hat. Pikachu here somewhere. That's kind of cool. All right, well, I'm gonna walk up around this way. It's usually around the actual sign up here. I ran into Pokemon. And we'll see if the ash hat or the Houndor is here. But, no, I mean, I, I'm, I'm excited about this new event that's coming up. I mean, it might revive some Pokemon Go players. Um, might bring some of them back. The raid system, the gym battling system has gotten 10 times better than what it was before. Um, and so, Pokemon Go is kind of looking back up. I mean, there was quite a bit of a break there where Pokemon Go just really wasn't worth playing. Especially since spoofing kind of took a hit with Android players. And so that really, really took a big hit. Um, a lot of people just said, screw it. I mean, I had, I had I have an account that completely had all Gen 1, Gen 2 minus um, one Pokemon. I'm um, Tyrogue, which I wasn't able to hatch. But I do have Tyrogue on another account. Actually, I believe it's on this account. Go name. Yeah, there he is right there. And so I've got a Tyrogue already. And so, I mean, that's just it is between all of my accounts, I pretty much have all of Gen 1, Gen 2. Um, and so I'm really excited for um, the gym battling system, mainly because um, you, you get, you're going to really have to make sure that there's a lot of people around you um, when you take down these gyms because 36,000 CP is pretty dang hard. And then on top of it, you've got to capture the Pokemon as well. And so um, right now the gym raid, raid system only allows five, I think it's five players. And five players with 3,000 CP Pokemon dealing 100 on their major attacks, that is gonna be, it's gonna be rough. And so hopefully they'll allow that to open up where you can actually allow more players to actually, like an infinite amount of players to actually join the battle. Because if not, then it's just really gonna suck. And so I am not finding this Houndor. I do not know where this Pikachu with his hat is. Uh, I'm walking back down, I'm near the, near the um, Pokestops that are coming up, near the gym. And yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not finding anything. Um, I wish they, they implement that freaking system again with the, the walking where it kind of led you. Because the original one actually was pretty good where it tells you three steps, two steps, one step if it was more accurate. Um, now it's not accurate at all. There's a hound, hound it's like right, right, right near where I started. All right, so I'm gonna raspberry this guy. I think I've got a golden raspberry on one of my accounts, which is kind of cool. All right, there we go. Oh, come on. One, two, three, caught him. Just didn't get my first, first get him on the first catch. There's the Houndor added to the Pokedex. So I've added, I think, seven new Pokemon in my Pokedex today, which is pretty cool. Man, there's a lot of Pokemon that just started showing up here. All right, I'm gonna go get the stop real quick. And at that point, I'm pretty much gonna end the video. I was hoping to get a 250 subscribers, get a collector account from um, Flame Accounts, give away this weekend for the major event, but they're taking their time getting back to me. Um, right now I'm sitting, I think, almost 240 subscribers, so I'm 10 subscribers short. And so, I mean, I'm gonna hold it too if, that they, they eventually get me a collector account, and I'm gonna give that collector account away to somebody. Um, it might be after I reach 250 subscribers, but either way, it will happen. Um, so, with this all being said, like I said, I'm just gonna make my way back down to this Pokestop and call it a video. So, um, 
I keep it real, keep you guys informed, let you guys know what's going on. Um, with that all being said, keep watching, keep subscribing, um, like my videos, um, please share my videos. I'm, I know when people share my videos and stuff like that, I can tell um, when you guys have been sharing my videos. Um, it's the only way we're going to get more subscribers. It's the only way we're going to be, I'm going to keep making these videos because when I, I start losing losing people and stuff like that, it kind of makes, makes it rough for me to, to keep going. So, um, I apologize for, like I said, the long break before that I had where I took about a month and a half off, but Pokemon Go took a guy dive. I started a new job. And so in this video, we're going to do hashtag Houndor is what we're going to do. And, um, you guys take it easy. Have a good night. And I expect to uh, hear a lot from you guys on Saturday when I upload my video. Hopefully I'll catch a legendary and be able to share that information with you guys. You guys take it easy. Keep playing. And that's it.